I'm Sylvia McDonald Kaufman. I serve as the Assistant Dean for Graduate Assessment and Evaluation at the Howard University Graduate School, or I should say the Graduate School at Howard University. Mm -hmm. And um, I am an alumna of Howard University in uh, graduate theological education, where I received a Master of Divinity from Howard University's School of Divinity. Um, I do hold a terminal degree in my uh, trained field of law. I, my first doctor is from um, Florida State University. So in addition to coming up from the state of Florida, um, I have had an opportunity to uh, also study as a student at Howard and now to be able to offer um, my um, uh, gifts and preparation in the formation of a next generation of thought leaders. This, uh, to, as a matter of fact, uh, colleague today has really been um, the uh, signature of what it is that I do. We are in the midst of the Middle State Commission for Higher Education site visit. So my work in assessment and evaluation helps to ensure that what we say our students must know, must do all of the outcomes that we have identified for our students and commit ourselves to doing. Uh, we make certain then that we assess them, that we measure them, and we communicate to our communities our effectiveness as an institution, but we go beyond that. We held a, a town hall this week uh, of graduate students to share results of a student-led collaboration with the graduate school in uh, assessing the graduate student climate at the university. We um, have uh, a su significant um, multi and interdisciplinary engagement in our student body around um, assessment research. And so my work um, is to ensure that not only do we uh, measure our outcomes and use those data to inform decision-making and make improvements in the program, but to also engage not just the faculty and research communities, but student and alumni communities as well. Oh, wow. So, Yes. Um, so those are very high level descriptions of uh, the kinds of contributions that I get to make to the campus. I also served uh, as the assistant dean for graduate student affairs and recruitment and retention were part of uh, the portfolio of responsibilities in that office. And while I no longer am officially in that position, we are an all hands on deck, highly collaborative team of administrators in the graduate school with students being our first and greatest priority. And so for that purpose, uh, I continue to support um, our outreach and recruitment efforts on an as needed basis. And I'm really honored to accept the, the invitation to join you in this stead uh, this evening. I'm always happy to answer that question. I think any student anywhere in the world that wants to bring their whole selves into first an environment where they are going to be affirmed as a human being, where that's a normal part of the culture, where there are not extraordinary measures needed for you to find your place and experience a sense of belonging. Um, that's vital to Howard. It's, it's commonplace at Howard because uh, from its inception, how it was an inclusive campus. So uh, students come, uh, and then particularly students of color uh, come to um, a place where there is great receptivity to re, not reimagining, but to interrogating what truth is. And as a consequence, uh, some miseducation and mythology gets uh, corrected, if you will, at Howard for our students, regardless of where they originate. Um, we offer uh, more than 30. We offer some 33 graduate programs that provide students uh, with more than with with more than 100 subspecializations. The bottom line is this: anything that you can imagine that you want to do with a graduate degree can be achieved at Howard University's graduate school. 
So with the um, one of the uh, highest cited uh, um, cadre of faculty with uh, persons who uh, are probably less concerned about who gets credit and as a consequence of making impactful uh, contributions to bettering society and creating a more just world. If those are the attributes of a graduate education that you are seeking, a place where you are being prepared uh, not just to be technically deep, that you will exceed, that you will excel in that area, but rather where you're looking to make uh, a, a social and more just world. Uh, it is no accident that persons come to Howard University to be formed as leaders. And so when we look at, at, at uh, international leaders, persons who actually have been heads of state, uh, they're alumni of Howard. And um, I think it would be remiss of me not to in indicate that now, <coughs> excuse me, please, we're especially proud that one of our celebrated alums is the Democratic um, candidate for the vice presidency of the United States, but that's not novel for us. That is what we created, Howard. You bring your whole self. You come uh, with curiosity in a place that will nurture you, will challenge you, and will set you up to be successful in life. Your whole self is respected and acknowledged and educated at Howard. An excellent question. It's helpful if you have some sense of what your, not just research interests are, I think I'm a perfect example of an individual who would get in trouble if I just went on research interests because I'm interested in everything. Mm -hmm. And that's not focused enough uh, by the time you come to uh, graduate education, although you don't have to have all the answers worked out. And uh, through the uh, immersion into uh, the Graduate Academy, your courses and interactions with, with your peers um, and faculty, as well as the professional guilds and societies that we will make sure uh, the means are provided for you to be able to engage, you help to refine your sense of calling and clarify where you are sensing um, your passions leading you, your interests leading you and what it is that you want to contribute to the world. At, at the end of the day, that really is the purpose of graduate education. So I would say to a student, um, stay open. By the time you get to your junior year, you should have your grade point average uh, set. If you haven't done particularly well in uh, the core disciplines that give you the foundation that you need. Be honest with yourself in assessing your performance, strengths and weaknesses, and uh, take advantage of the um, academic enhancement programming in your various undergraduate uh, programs. And now that higher education, well, all education, but particularly higher education has moved to a virtual platform. Uh, we marvel at the number of no cost opportunities to enhance and develop oneself uh, that are available online. So I really encourage you to take advantage of those to strengthen if you need to polish up on math, math or polish up on writing uh, and read. And we encourage you to uh, read not only in your discipline, but read for the love of reading. Because when you come to Howard, you are going to be reading. Write something every day. You're going to be writing. Yes, I am so grateful to have the opportunity to encourage each and every one of you um, to hear the words, you are not alone. We hear them so much that uh, the risk is they can lose meaning. But we want our students, I want each of you students to understand that the administrators too are experiencing, the faculty too are experiencing uh, some of the challenges and the stresses associated with not physically being with each other. Uh, and some of the other challenges associated with employment, unemployment, 
um, loss of loved ones, caregiving responsibilities, and the like associated with the present pandemic. Frankly, we say at Howard, with the multiple pandemics, this pandemic has revealed what we've been writing about since the beginning of the institution. Some schools are just learning about health disparities, but we've been writing about this and uh, addressing uh, health disparities and disparities across all spectrum of human existence. So use this time, yes, to be reflective and to think about what interests you and to stay hopeful. And that hope can lead you to the kind of hope that we contribute at Howard as part of our mission each and every day. These types of experiences that are making your heart tender are the kinds of experiences and dispositions that will serve you well at Howard University when you come to uh, serve, educate, and lead with head, heart, and hand. <laughs>